Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you 23 January, fourth week in January, fourth trading week. Hope you've uh, been able to accumulate some profits so far, get your year off to a good start. Um, interesting day today. We closed yesterday up at 55. Um, we kind of took the day off on Friday. Uh, but as you can see, we closed... Uh, actually up at around 58 so we were talking about resolution of euro dollar whether you know after this doji day here with the long tail we either gonna have to resolve below 107.73 or above um, 108.80 obviously we're above um, and so we're now bearish uh, dollars <clears throat> certainly for this week um, and for today, we'll see. Um, we bought euros at the open. You know, we just sold half up here, um, just because we're playing around with this. Also, like the stretch point here, uh, 109.40. So two and a half sigmas, 109.40. So be careful up towards 40 today. We are not going to use this as a sell signal because it's a trend breakout. Um, and just see how this goes quickly onto uh, cable which printed 124.47 which is the exact same high uh, Tuesday Wednesday the 14th of December now it's a perfect double top um, is this going to break Probably yes. Uh, is it a break trade? Yes, it is. Um, for those of you who don't know what a break trade is, uh, go ask Chat GPT, uh, figure it out, or go ask your mother. Uh, she'll probably tell you as well. So keep an eye on this level. Uh, if you're short this and you think you want to fade this move and you think this is going to collapse, you know where your stop is. Um, maybe we'll get back down through 118.85 and the double top will remain intact. Uh, but if you want to break trade at 46 is the bingo number. Dollar Swiss and Euro Swiss. Just really no words, right? I don't know what the fuck. Um, I don't know what the fuck the SNB said that made this thing turn so bid uh, on Friday. But, of course, here we are, Euro Swiss, just doing my fucking head in. I mean, it's nice, obviously. Um, higher Dollar Swiss is nicer for me always. I get paid in dollars. Uh, but um, Euro Swiss is bid. Uh, this should continue to be bid. I don't see any reason this should turn around, especially with Euro Dollar remaining bid. Let's go to rates. Um, we can pick rates up uh, core long rates or core short tens. You can pick rates up at 345, and now you're playing the 345, 335. Um, support uh, band so anytime in that band this week we will sell tens um, and just trade around it with a core uh, short futures hopefully creating a better and better average um, you know we're looking for this basically to move back up to four right um, you know we think short-term rates are gonna you know stay at four for a long time and so something has to be resolved here either tens have to catch up to the short end or the short end has to catch up or has to fall down to the tens and we think tens are going to catch up um and anyway so 335 345 gold quickly because um, we want to get ready for cable here uh Bunch of highs up at 36. Uh, this this could easily run um, run higher, right? It's 22 now. Um, you could probably buy some gold. We are not. Uh, we're already positioned here in the euro. Oh yeah, equities. They piled higher. We've got some resistance here at, at, at 4,000. Um, we're not selling this. Looks pretty robust everyone is bearish are we going to break this like what the internet is calling the most obvious trend line of all time yeah probably um does it make any sense of course it doesn't 
Uh, do we care if it makes sense? No. We're not here to like solve fucking Sudoku logic problems here. We're here to make money. Uh, so who gives a fuck if it makes sense or not? Everyone's bearish. The price action's bullish. Shit probably goes higher, right? Um, so equities look pretty, pretty strong up here. Considering the strength of equities, should we be looking at dollar max? This is a confusing one, right? So we had this big bullish day. And we talked about buying this between 85 and 90. But now, of course, with euro doing what it is and equities doing what it is, probably do not want to buy this. Oh, yeah, this fucker is annoying. Um, dollar China did not resolve up above 679. I think this, you know... This, I guess, will need Chinese news. But again, with euro higher, you expect dollar China to go lower. So be careful with that. Crypto. Ethereum's just hanging up here at 1637. I mean, what are the chances we get given at 1450? Um, that was a botch. Uh, that was what you call a greedy botch, right? We had that bid at 1500. And it was trading at 1502. We could have just paid the fucking offer, but then we said, no, no, this looks like it's going to go further. Um, total fucking botch. Uh, but that shit looks pretty robust. Anyway, I don't want to bullshit with all the other stuff out here. I mean, Euro Swiss is a buy on dip, um, and Euro Dollar, you just want to remain long today uh, and start, you know, you can start trading it somewhere between 25 and 50 on the long side to try and get yourself a better average. Depending on where you got long, you want to try and harvest 100 points on this and then reset, have a look. Um, and then finally, rates. It's 347.5 now. This thing will probably nip down to 345, 344, especially with the dollar getting hit. Sometimes the dollar follows rates, but also sometimes the rates might follow dollar a bit. So be wary of that. Uh, but we think it's a fade if it gets below 345. All right, got to hop. Uh, careful with cable people. Bye, 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 bye.